Good morning everyone. Welcome to Stock Market Analysis presented by Ray Financial. Today is Tuesday, August 11, 2015. So what we have in front of us are the top 5 picks for 2015 which I had posted in uh, January 2015. I just want to bring to your attention that I have exited Polyplex at 314. Yes, we did meet the targets 40%. Uh, I think it was a little bit more than 40%. But uh, let me share the script with you right now. This is uh, Polyplex in front of us. Let's try and zoom in. Uh, now let's get to January 2015. So uh, this is where uh, we were standing in January at around these area uh, levels. And um, uh, let's see if I can change the color of that to yellow so yeah we were uh, in these uh, price zones and uh, I actually never I never exited the stock even though it fell down and it came to like about the 180 levels or 175 uh, levels I I was just uh, accumulating and averaging my cost so I think uh, by the end of it um, I accumulated uh, at an average cost of about 197 or something and from there this this stock has just gone up now it was just last week uh, I I exited because we met a profit zone I said 40% from 220 which comes up to about 308 but uh, I actually made a little bit more than that since I held on and averaged my cost now coming back uh, uh, to the other scripts uh, which I had recommended uh, capital uh, capital finance this I believe is it, it has got a good story uh, the the promoters uh, is really are really good management has changed uh, off late I think this was when I recommended the stock and uh, I'm quite sure that uh, things uh, are very bright for this company and you could still hold on uh, I am averaging my cost out snowman uh, still, uh, I would exit at about 130, uh, 135. Uh, Wonderla, uh, it's again a long term story. Uh, I got good position in Wonderland, hoping that something works out. Uh, and IDFC, uh, this is got a good story because they got their banking license, and I'm hoping that you know things will turn around from the, uh, for them, and it could be like a next Kotak or Yes Bank, uh, basically a uh, you know a multifold. Uh, I can pull up these stocks for you so we can discuss them further. Uh, let's let's check with uh, Wandala. So here we have Wandala. Um, around Jan, when I when, see when I recommended the stock, it was about uh, the two seventy, I think, a uh, three hundred and seven level. So from three hundred and seven, yes, it went to three forty six, but. Um, you know the price came down. I'm still I'm still averaging my cost around here. Uh, right now I hold good quantities of Wonderla, and I'm hoping that um, you know the company starts picking up. Uh, valuations are seen by analysts and uh, mutual funds. I feel the stock uh, will rally back up to this point, which is the 350 levels. So uh, one can start accumulating, uh, and I think in future. Um, uh, we could see the stock going about like 400 450 and that's when i would start clearing my positions the second one that we uh, saw snowman now snowman again the same story uh, around uh, january it was about like 99 uh, between in the 90s and uh, it fell down to i think the low was about 77 but still i did not exit it was good you know, opportunity to average out the cost and uh, I think right now snowman my average cost is about like 92 or 91 and I'm still holding on I liked this rally that just took place um, this entire rally and we kind of uh, uh, cut off uh, I can mark this uh, level for you this was kind of a resistance area which we see right here so yep that's what it was we had a, a double top and then we came down now I feel that uh, this stock is strong uh, between the 100 and uh, 110 level if we see it breaking 116 yes 
130 is my target uh, I wouldn't really wait for 136 or, or 140 levels I would I would clear half of my position uh, around this area so just uh, giving you guys um, an early heads up what I plan to do uh, after snowman yes we got uh, I think uh, cap F yes cap F now cap F it's 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 a long story I, I I'm just holding on uh, I don't have a lot of position because um, the stock price uh, is a little high but uh, I'm accumulating this uh, as and when I can uh, I believe that this stock can go up to at least 600 from from this point but you need to give it time uh, I have stopped really trading intraday and now I'm focusing more on value stocks uh, stocks that can give good returns uh, I mean we already got polyplex that was 40% returns uh, and for a year that's that's really good so hold on to capital F uh, I would I would definitely average out between uh, this price the 300 and, uh, 50, 350 and uh, 400 400 level uh, I think we might have a small drop down because we've had a good uh, higher low a uh, higher highs and then there was a break of the pattern this this point was the break this little area here so since it broke down I think now uh, stock should come up about 391 and uh, we might again test the 200 DMA and probably bounce back but then hey you know let's I'm not trying to trade this uh, on an intraday basis I am just trying to see where I can accumulate this stock at good price and uh, I think um, we are almost cap F snowman wonder and IDFC so IDFC yes it's just been very choppy uh, it's um, so I made much movement uh, the last I saw it yes it went up about like 181 but uh, honestly I, re I did not exist because I was hoping that uh, we, we would get more out of the stock uh, let's see uh, around January so around 13 Jan uh, the stock was 157 uh, that's what I marked the price 158 okay so 158 and if we had to meet our targets so that would be about 205 so we got close we got to about like 183 or 184 as the high but since then the stock has just been going down but now what I feel is that uh, it's a good area to buy because um, we can see one is that we have a support here we have a support here and uh, hopefully uh, once price gets averaged out between these two zones which is 130 and 145 we could uh, we could have the stock bounce back to these highs so again it's a long term story i am not uh, looking for intraday or weekly profits it's something that you got to hold on for uh, months besides that yes everybody wants to know what's going on with nifty so let me even talk about nifty well i feel nifty was uh, definitely going to go into a bull run but off late uh, i don't know what is going on uh, i will show you why i felt that it was uh, in a bull run uh, or it was the basically the trend was changing so we had the highs uh, of 9100 or 9000 and we had you know this uh, downtrend which obviously uh, all of us witness uh, due to Greece uh, and other economic news but after this we broke the downtrend we broke and we started making a uh, higher high higher low uh, pattern but um, this was the point where we started reverse we should have actually broken this area and continued the pattern and this would have been our first target and this would have been a second target but uh, for some reason we did not uh, we did not complete the pattern uh, we did not uh, stick to the long trend or I would say to the uptrend I'm sorry and uh, this area is now the testing uh, 8340 8340 and um, 
8,670 or let's just keep it 8,650. So if we basically break uh, this area, then uh, yeah, we could we could see the next move going to 8,800. And if we break that, uh, then definitely we are going to go to the lifetime highs, which is uh, a little bit about 9,050. So let's hope we don't we don't break 8,340. Because if we do, then yes, we are coming down here, and then we are definitely coming back to these levels. And I would then be uh, really careful uh, of how uh, we are trading the markets, because uh, that that would not be a good sign. Uh, besides that, um, I don't have any more stocks that I'm trading, so uh, I could give in a few pointers, uh, like some stocks that uh, I am thinking of accumulating. One is MIC. So MIC is um, it's a good stock. It's I think it just recently bagged a good order of LED lights, and the stock has just been going crazy from. Uh, a 13 it went all the way to 29.50 and then since then it's just moving sideways but if you get an opportunity in MIC uh, I would definitely enter uh, at 20s uh, the 20 points and um, yeah I would definitely enter around 22 to 20 I mean 20 to 22 so keep this on your list uh, MIC electronics is listed on NSC as well as BSC Stock is currently trading 25.30. Besides that, guys, um, this is it. If you have any questions, you can always follow me on Facebook. Um, the page will come up soon. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email. Uh, besides that, guys, have a great trading day and hope you make great profits. Thank you.